Greetings, Commanders. This is Commander Hong Long from Hong Long Wuja. And uh, today we are going to be talking about materials and the most productive, or rather one of the most productive ways of filling up your material inventories. Materials that you will need to go uh, throughout the game to engineer the ships in your fleet. While there's a great deal of griping uh, about the grind needed to engineer your ships, the fact remains that the difference between an engineered ship and an uninjured one is enormous. Whether you're talking about combat, exploration, trading, or even mining, the differences are palpable and there for everyone to see. Even the difference in something as simple as dropping probes for a surface scan uh, brings about a huge change when engineered. Generally, I wouldn't even consider mapping most larger planets because it requires just too many probes. But with engineering, you can have the time and uh, even the probes. And speaking of surface scanning, that's exactly what you're going to need to do uh, once you get started after scanning the planet. You're going to head uh, either straight for the coordinates for each of the uh, planets that I've listed in the description down below, or you're going to change your filter to crystalline shards and uh, most likely by hitting the E on the keyboard, which is uh, what the default bindings were for me. And then you're gonna head towards the blue area on the heat map. And then you're gonna wanna fly along the surface uh, somewhere between 30 and 100 meters and look for forests of crystalline shards. If you follow the coordinates, you're gonna go uh, directly to a large forest, but I prefer to leave, leave a little bit to my uh, own devices. So, uh, although it doesn't always pay off, for example, in the first planet, C1A, which has the polonium, I didn't find a big forest, which looks about like what you see there on your SRV radar. And of course, you're going to be needing an SRV to farm the materials. I would recommend getting uh, the Scorpion as it moves much easier over rocky terrain. Uh, and to collect the materials, you're going to need to target the crystalline clusters or shards. And then you're going to have to shoot them with your repeater until they're knocked off the crystal trees. And then you're going to go uh, collect the materials. You're going to need to deploy your cargo stroop, scoop, and uh, target the materials and run over them uh, to collect them. Each of the planets that you're going to visit will provide one main material, and your capacity for each is 150. Apparently, there's a bug. So uh, if you get to 100 and it says that you're full, you're going to need to get back in your ship, reboot, and then once getting back onto the surface, uh, the capacity in there, so I mean, the capacity should show 150. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you've filled up with the main materials uh, listed for each planet, uh, you should get a message saying that the X inventory is full, and then just get back into your ship and head over to the next planet. If you run out of in, uh, ammo, go to the inventory sh uh, screen, scroll down to synthesis, and the first thing there at the top is SRV ammo restock, Cost two sulfur and one phosphorus, and uh, you can also refuel and repair the uh, SRV manual from this screen too. Uh, and the cost is minimal. Uh, in fact, you're probably probably going to collect much more of those materials uh, while you're out there farming than you'll ever use while you're out there farming. So uh, on this trip, we're going to be filling up uh, with seven different types of materials. Uh, polonium, ruthenium, tellurium, and technetium at planets in uh, the HIP 36601 system. And then we're going to collect yttrium and antinomy at uh, planets in the Ututs LS-K D8-3 system. And then uh, we're going to finish up by collecting selenium in the HR3230 system. Although if you're close by uh, at the beginning, you may want to reverse the order. Once that you have uh, filled up, you're going uh, with your hold with all of these materials. You're going to head over to the nearest material trader and trade down, fill up everything else, uh, and then two or three times going uh, through this process, you, it should do you for a few years. Uh, if you hate the grind like me, uh, just keep 50 of each of the highest grade materials and then uh, head back out to farm when the urge strikes you or you're you're you require doing it for something else later on also uh you know i'd encourage you to take the time while you're out there to practice racing that srv around launch yourself off some geysers or geezers uh, however you want to pronounce it and bring a, a suit if you're in uh, odyssey to get some xenobiology done on the way out there um you know, make 
There's no need, no reason to not make the pr trip fi uh, profitable for you financially uh, on top of collecting all the materials. Uh, one more thing, one more thing that I wanted to add. Um, some commanders like to get out of the SRV and uh, when, the, when the forest is really thick and uh, get out and uh, shoot them while, shoot the clerk shoot the crystal clusters off while they're on foot and then get back into the SRE and uh, SRV and go around picking them up. Personally, I find it easier uh, to just stay in the SRV and uh, while farming the mats. Getting out doesn't seem to improve my speed in doing it. Anyway, commanders, that is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure and give it a like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because it will help me out enormously. If you've got any further suggestions uh, about the f material farming, uh, if you think I've missed something or you just have something else to add, feel free to comment in the space down below. All right, commanders, until the next time, 07. <laughs>